Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo. And today I wanted to show you a really cool Samsung video application. It's a different way to interact with your videos and you also have your folders that's sitting over here. Anytime that you watch a video, it puts in a instant video on the top. You can also go through a bunch of different settings and you can edit your video or watch the video through the native Samsung player. But before we dive deep in the application we're talking about today, if you appreciate this video, if you like updates and tips and tricks and tutorials, more than likely you're not subscribed to this video. About 86% of you watching this is not subscribed. You might as well just hit that subscribe button, join this party, it is free. Also, if you don't wanna miss any future videos, hit that bell for the notifications and click on all so you can see all of the tips and tricks. Now, the application we're talking about today is one that you can download for free inside of the Galaxy Store. Again, this one is made by Samsung. When you go to the very top and you search, search for the Samsung Video Library. It's a really cool way to interact with all of your videos. So when you open this up, you get it downloaded. It takes you inside of a screen like this. You have a couple different setups you're able to use if you want your tiles to look like this. If you want your tiles to be a little bit larger, you can see that the instant video is actually on the top still. So it really kind of depends on how you want it to look. Now comparing this application here, it's a little video library compared to the regular Samsung album application. When you click on the videos on the top, this is what it'll look like. Uh, it's all gonna be on a big, big grid. You can either make these larger, you can make them smaller. You play a video, then it plays it on the regular native application. Uh, but it's really cool, so when you have this one downloaded again it's called the Samsung video library that is what the icon looks like you open this up and then here's all of your videos you can have the instant player on all you'd have to do is on the top right hand side you just make sure that your instant player is actually toggled to the on switch and then on the top you also have edit you have share you can sort all of these there's a bunch of different options for sorting uh, and then let's say that you want to go through and you want to edit so when you click on edit, you're able to select multiple videos either by tapping all of them or you can do a press and hold and then you can just drag it as you go through and you select multiples that you can also delete from there. Or when they are selected, you are able to move them to a different folder. You can copy them to a folder or you can move it to your secure folder. Now let's say that you went through and you only have one video selected. This is where it gives you the option to edit this video. When you go inside of the editor, this is your regular Samsung video editor. You do what you would normally do, but it's just coming from a different application. It's actually really cool. I like the setup of this better because if you wanna go through your gallery just to show somebody some videos of your vacation or, or baby or whatever it is, you just go right inside of here. And you also have folders set up. Uh, it's the same folders that's in your gallery, but again, it doesn't show all of those images. It's only the videos. So if you wanna look down here, you have your video stitch. So if you did any type of some, you know, or video glitch, if you do any type of editing with the, with the glitch application, here's all your Snapchat stuff you've saved, the video editor, so the videos that you have edited already. All right, then you have your screen recordings and then all the rest of them, so they're all sitting right here. It's actually pretty cool. You can even do a search right there. Uh, then inside of here, you can create your own folder. If there's any of these folders you would like to hide, if you don't want others to see it, you can also hide a folder. So let's say that we go down and I click on this restored and then I hit undone. Uh, it's not gonna be showing right here. The only place that this will show is when you go to the very top and then when you go inside of hide folders, you're gonna see that there's one option right here that was hidden from you. But again, it, it's, it's a pretty cool application. It's a way that you'd be able to interact with all of your videos. You can actually you know skim through all of them pretty quickly and you have this little Little instant player so as you go through here you're just showing off everything that you have recorded in a pretty cool way and it brings it down for you so you can see that this is what we selected and then it'll automatically move this little list and put it right on the very top so it's actually pretty fun so when it comes down to a lot of uh, Samsung applications some of them kind of uh, you know, repeat themselves, but this is one that I actually do find helpful if you're only looking for videos and you can interact with things differently, things like that. So again, uh, if you guys liked this video, give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit on subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.